and he told me this story. He said that the counselor, he asked everybody, all the believers, what kind of Baha'i are you? Now this is my question to you. <laughs> He said that the counselor said that there are five or six types of Baha'i. Then at the end, I ask you what type you are. The counselor, he said, the first kind of Baha'i is that Baha'i who's like balloon. <laughs> you know this balloon? The English uh, may be difficult. What's the word balloon in Dutch? To make sure. All right. He says that this is the kind of Baha'i who is full of hot air, <laughs> always liking to explode. <laughs> Whenever there's something he doesn't understand or some irritation, full of hot air and always exploding. He said the second kind of Baha'i. He says this is the Baha'i like uh, kitten. You know kitten? The little baby cat. What is the word in Dutch? Somebody say it so everybody gets it. You have it? He says, this is the kind of Baha'i that always like to be petted. <laughs> uh, this Baha'i always loves to be praised and commended and petted. If you don't praise that Baha'i, and give him every con commendation and congratulation. Not so happy, you see. This is the kind of Baha'i, he says, that uh, even if they cough in the feast, someone has to say, my, that cough was so eloquent. <laughs> <laughs> my, I never heard such a, a remarkable cough before. <laughs> And I love the way you walked into the room. This was excellent walking you did. <laughs> that you have to find every way to give some little praise and petting if you don't pet. He says the other kind of Baha'i, this is the Baha'i like wheelbarrow. What is the word of wheelbarrow? You know the one that you, you have it? He said, that Baha'i, if you're not pushing that Baha'i, <laughs> uh, if that Baha'i, if you're not pushing him to become active, and you're not uh, pushing him to have spiritual characteristics and transformation, that Baha'i is just standing still like stone, <laughs> not moving anywhere. He says, the other kind of Baha'i, it's the Baha'i like canoe. What is the word in Dutch for canoe? You know the boat, the little small boat. Yes, and uh, you know to move the boat you have to have paddle. What's the word for paddle? Yeah, he said this is the Baha'i that if you don't paddle him, <laughs> if you don't beat him like you have to beat the water to get moving, uh, if you don't reprimand him, you have to come and what is wrong with you? And let's go. If you don't uh, uh, beat him, that he's not moving uh, much. Then he says that the other kind of Baha'i is the Baha'i like uh, light bulb. What is the word in Holland for light bulb? Yes, he says that Baha'i, he goes off and on. <laughs> Sometimes so active, everybody said, what illumination. <laughs> did you see what he did, what sacrifice? And then sometimes everybody says, what happened? Where is he? Where is she? Dark with inactivity. Nobody can find. And then again, one year later, coming with such activity. And then going into hiding, into darkness. Says that Baha'i is like light bulb. And then he says that there's another kind of Baha'i. And this Baha'i is like star. And this Baha'i is shining. Whether anybody is looking or not, this Baha'i doesn't care. 
He just knows what is inside him. And he's shining with servitude and action and shining with uh, passion and earnestness for learning the faith. And after the meeting, my friend says he went up to the counselor and he says, I want to be that Baha'i that is like star. And how do I become that Baha'i that's like the brilliant star? And the counselor began to tell him, action, learning, translating these high ideals of the faith into action, trying to improve your in character, encouraging yourself, patience with yourself and with others, no criticism, no back biting, uh, closing the eye, you know all the things. In other words, he was telling him to try to internalize the teachings of our faith in his heart and take action and he could be the brilliant star like you are.